happen in New York and New Jersey. Um, those are states where they do a lot of uh, the, the zip codes are all messed up and they, you know, prices are higher everywhere. What that does is it's kind of running a background check. You'll notice when most companies you talk to, they'll say, we'll run a consumer report. They're basically checking to see if you live where you live. If you don't, you guys are used to something called proof of residency. And that's something you do when you move, when you have to get like proof. I have a cable bill. I have this bill. They didn't have insurance. What do you want us to do? We're, we're not here to cover that scenario unless you buy uninsured motorists. Medical insurance is in the case that the person that hits you has no insurance. Underinsured motorist. When you're getting into the coverage that I'm going to mention early, later, which is your higher limits, the 100, 300, 250, 500, we'll go over that, you're going to want to have protection in case somebody hits you that has either faster paced driving. And that's the way Florida is. That's a big reason the rates are higher than normal. Right now, according to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, I'm just going to hold this up and read it. <laughs> according to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, uh, Florida accounts for around 20% of all accidents that are staged, so fraud, okay, in the U.S., whereas Five main metro areas are ranked among the top 10 cities face more. Bodily injury, if you injure them, they're hurt. Same scenario, my sister, I ran into her car, her broken arm, it's $5,000, okay? My bodily injury, if I do even the state minimum, is 10,000 per person. So if her friend was in the car with her and she had the same scenario, or broken arm too. So it's 10,000 per person in that car, up to a maximum of 20,000, 1020 is what they call it. Okay, that's, that's what most online things or most people say is the statement. It was just a mistake. You got a broken arm. Now what? I, I got to I gotta pull out the pocket. Here you go. If I don't have that, if I, I look, if I got my, got two, uh, sorry, sorry sister, got three dollars. I don't know, I, I, you're going to have to bill me. Okay, so now she's responsible for this bill and I got to pay her back. Well, her insurance is going to touch her. She's like, oh, well, you don't have insurance. The price of Orlando. You're going to pay 20 some hundred dollars a year on average in Miami, where you're going to pay about 1200 or 1000 a year for insurance, depending on the coverages, in Orlando or uh, the northern regions of Florida. Biggest thing, takeaway, it's not that expensive if you're in different states like Michigan, Detroit. Oh my God, that's, that's the highest one, 10,000 a year. Yeah, think about that. Most people that don't have the extra income do 25,000 a person, 50,000 per accident for bodily injury, property damage, which covers the car. So I hit my sister's car, it's her property. I damaged it. I'm gonna cover up to 25,000. So if she's got a, you know, a Hyundai, you know, I'm pretty much, Pretty sure I'm covered that, you know, a Hyundai Sonata. If if you get this quote back and you said, okay, I got my bodily injury, I got my property damage, um, you know, I've got my personal seen auto insurance losses. Uh, these are West Palm Beach, Miami, Orlando, Haley, 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 um, in Tampa, Florida. One of the main reasons, not just the crazy driving and everybody going everywhere, the fraud and all that stuff, but one of the other main reasons Florida is so expensive for insurance, retirees. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to put you guys down, I know, but most of the accidents in Florida are people that are not covered. However, if she has insurance, the PIP, the PIP over here, okay, that will pay 80% of her medical up to $10,000. That's the most common one. If she has insurance, sure, the insur her insurance is probably gonna pay it, but they're still gonna come after you and say, hey, we just had to pay this $10,000. We want you to pay us back. Okay, we paid 80%, so you owe us four or five grand or whatever the cost was. So now your protection, which you have to carry, it doesn't matter what you do, it comes with it. Um, it's required by the state. So I've got bodily injury, property damage, I've got my PIP, I'm good. Okay, how much is my bill gonna be when you call the insurance guy? Oh, he says it's gonna be $75 a month. That's not bad, I can afford that. Now think in your mind, is that enough coverage? How do you determine how much coverage you need? 
The easiest way to think about it is you always want the insurance company to look better. Easy. A lot of it has to do with tourism. So that is causing a lot of the insurance rates to go up in the Orlando, in the Kissimmee, in, in that central Florida area. Well, that doesn't help because Miami down here is having tons of claims, tons of fraud. Um, you know, and, and it's just, it's grown between those two. It's kind of branched off into the other state or the other areas. We got a lot of visitors coming for, you know, Disney World and all that, and they don't know how to drive. They're not ready for the to save you money. Once you've gotten it established in a place, get a couple bills in your name, or at least have your parents put your bills on your name, um, and then just contribute to that part. Then you can go back to that company six months from now, or however long it is, and then show them the proof of residency. Don't get discouraged when you run into something like that. That's for protection for your normal insurance person, or for your normal person in Florida. That's some of the reasons that they're high, but I wanted to cover, and I'm sure you could have done this video. Unfortunately, that's a downfall. Not just that, you're saying, well, I don't live in Miami, I live in Orlando, or I live in, um, you know, in Kissimmee. Uh, you know, you can't tell that I've lived in Florida before. If you ever drive around Orlando, if you've never been to Florida, or if you're watching this video, most likely you live in Florida. But if you've ever been there, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Your driving is nuts. I mean, it's not you specifically for Floridians. It's a lot of visitors. So if you're in Orlando, I those prices to go up because now if I hit you and I don't have insurance, I'm gone. <laughs> See you guys. Good luck. Hope you got good insurance because I can't afford it. I couldn't pay it. I'm driving illegally. I took off. Or, or, you're, or you're just in that scenario where you just bought the car, you didn't realize you didn't have insurance or your insurance lapsed because your credit card expired. Whatever the case is, it, it went bye-bye. Okay, you don't have insurance. That is a huge thing and it lets you in writing, you have to purchase the first policy and then in writing you can add, hey, I want to increase that PIP from 10,000 to 50,000. So you can actually bump that coverage up yourself. Personal injury protection, it'll pay 80% medical up to 10,000. There's different packages that you can purchase. It's work loss, these all come with it. But you can, you can increase it. I believe the work loss is like $200 per week up to you know X amount of weeks as long as it doesn't max out that. People started to learn is, well, why don't I just pretend I live up here? Why am I paying insurance down here? I'm driving the same car, it's not that bad. I'll just tell him I live over here in Orlando. My buddy, my buddy lives up here, I'll use his address. That became a huge, huge issue with insurance because they're cheating the system. They're creating or committing fraud, insurance fraud. It, it doesn't feel like it because you're just like, ah, it's not right. They shouldn't be charging me this much. But that's the thing. You chose to live in that area. I used to live in Kissimmee. And I'll give you two real quick stories. I was driving down the road. I come up to a four-way stop. I stopped. The other car came in, stopped. I went to go. He started blaring his horn, honking and flipping me off like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, I've been here for five seconds. I'm ready to go. So that's the type of driving. Uh, other thing, if you ever buy like a mall there, you watch a light turn red and you see car, 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 car. Three cars go through the red light. It's crazy. 20000 per accident. I don't want to tell you this, but this is, this, I mean, because this could hurt you in the end. That's not required in Florida. Okay, you do not have to carry bodily injury. It's just not required. You get to a spot where you don't have the funds and you just got to drive, you got to get to work. I understand. I, Dude, I was, I had two speeding tickets and I was a little dragster kid when I was 18 or 16. You know, I used to race between schools and all that. I just didn't make good decisions. It, and when you're saying you live in this state, in this area, and then you have a claim down here and it's, you know, or a fraud or something, it's just a natural thing. There's a higher payout in this specific area of Florida. So now you're saying you live up here, but you're filing claims down here, and you're causing everybody else's rates to go up. And that's what's happening. There is some really good news that a lot of companies have implemented a lot of uh, different programs like LexisNexis. And that's something that started insurance. It's so big of an issue in, in Florida right now that one thing a lot of people don't understand, the state is tied to the insurance companies. They, they communicate. You're with Geico and your insurance laps. Do, 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 do. Hey, do, do, do. <laughs> they've got an insurance. Okay, we'll, we'll give them 30 days. 
30 days later. Do, 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 do. No insurance, no insurance. Send him a letter, video, to watch the, the recommendations. What type of insurance does Florida require and what type of insurance should you get? I see a lot of stuff online where people say, oh, the minimums, they're 10,000 per person, 20,000 per accident. What does that mean? 10,000, it's called bodily injury. Okay, if you haven't watched my uh, Insurance 101, if you don't know what bodily injury is, go uh, watch my Insurance 101 video. So BI limits, it's 10,000 per person, medium, pretty nice BMW, that's $30,000 car. Right? I totaled it out. I've only got 25,000 property damage. So now where does the other 5,000 come from? It comes out of my pocket. I gotta pull out my wallet. The insurance company's gonna say, you gotta pay this. If she doesn't have the correct coverages to cover what I can't cover, guess who's coming after me? Sister. <laughs> or her insurance company, even worse. Because they're used to doing that. They're gonna take your money. Make sure that you try to get these covered a little bit of work loss. As long as that doesn't max out at that 10,000, you're good. Once it hits 10,000, it's gone, okay? It's not a big coverage, but it's there to protect people. Florida is one of the highest insurance states that has uninsured motorists. It's got the most uninsured motorists. A lot of it's visitors, a lot of it's motorcyclists. At the time, if I'm not mistaken, you're not required to carry insurance on a motorcycle. You've got a lot of uninsured motorists. That's gonna cost some of $10,000. It's always gonna be $10,000. As long as when you get hurt in that accident or or when someone in your car gets hurt, it doesn't go above that 10000 So medical, let's say I, I broke my thumb, okay? It's going to cost me $4,000 to get a cast. Okay, $4,000 to get my thumb fixed. <laughs> I can't work now. I, can't, I, I was a professional texter. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a professional game player. Okay, I can't play my games. I'm going to get the park, park really sparkles. <laughs> If she had underinsured motorist of twenty-five thousand per person and fifty thousand per accident, now she's covered for that extra five thousand because it's not gonna max out until she hits the twenty-five thousand. I covered ten, she her insurance covered five, now it's a responsibility to come after me for the rest of it. I got the minimum my minimum, ten thousand per person, twenty thousand per accident. Arms broken. It's $15,000. It's a beautiful cast. It's got sparkly stuff all over it. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the medical bill is now $15,000. I only have $10,000 per person. That's one person. So I've maxed out. I got $5,000 left. I'm still responsible to pay that $5,000, but she needs medical attention now. She's got to have You have until this time to get insurance or we're revoking your license. That's how big of an issue it is in Florida without having insurance. How do you protect yourself against something like that? You've got uninsured motorist, UM, and underinsured motorist, UIM. Okay, uninsured motorist means you're protecting yourself against the guy that has no insurance because Florida does have a high risk. When you, well, the smart insurance companies are going to require you to carry a lot of information. So you're going to have to approve a cable bill and a electric bill at the same time. And it has to be in your name at this address, perfectly matched in this square little box, or we don't touch it. Okay, you're going to notice that with them. So if you're new to insurance, if you're a young driver, if that Lexus Nexus pops up and you don't have any bills, you just got to move on. There's nothing you can do at that point. Don't get mad at the company. They're actually trying to than you. My income is here. Let's say I make 50,000 a year. That's pretty decent. I don't own a home. I'm renting a house or renting a house. I've got my car paid off, so that's an asset. I don't have to um, to make payments, although it's a liability in the finance world. But but to me it's an asset cuz I I don't owe anything on it and I could sell it tomorrow for $10,000. If you cause an accident and let's say my sister's driving a, a, a the thing about Florida with with Florida is those people that live in those counties down south is the fraud that some of them are creating. Now, I'm not saying everybody from Miami is fraud and they're cheating and everything like that. There's some great people down there. The state's broken up into zip codes, so this co zip code has this many claims with this, each company rates a zip code. State Farm, 
they know that this zip code has this claim, this zip code has as much fraud, this code has this. What a lot of people quote these, always quote with the uninsured motors, but keep in the back of your mind, this might, this might double the rate that they quote you. And when the guy comes back and says, it's $3,000 for six months, would you like to pay it in full? <laughs> You're like, what? click. No, don't hang up the phone. Say, well, how much is it without the uninsured motors? That alone, sometimes I've seen it as low as 10 bucks, okay? But I've seen it as high as 300 $400. That coverage alone, after 911, call 411. You know, they're just collecting on so many claims. There's so much fraud, so much payout that it's forcing the prices to go up. What do I mean by that? It's not just that type of fraud. You heard me mention Miami, um, different Dade County, different areas like that. The problem is these guys realize that they're paying twice as much. That specific county, Florida's broken up into zip codes. So that specific county of Florida is actually double. They're driving 35 in a 55. And it just, it creates chaos. When you're driving slow and this guy's trying to get to work, he's 15 minutes late. He didn't want to pay the five dollar fee to get on the, you know, to get on the the highway that you got to pay for. So those are some of the reasons. Florida, big, biggest thing to take away: Florida is the number one fraud state in the nation, or one of the number one fraud states in the nation. Now, I believe they're number one. Lots of fraud, lots of false claims. If you ever hear on the radio. Now I drive like a normal person now, you know, I don't add zero tickets on my license, perfectly clean, because you start to realize that affects what you pay. And I would rather be a safe driver and not pay an extra hundred dollars a month than to have fun and race my car <laughs> and then get all these tickets. Anyways, bodily injury is actually not required in Florida. The only thing that you have to carry is property damage, PD, okay, and PIP. And that stands for personal personal injury protection protect bodily injury is if you injure somebody if you if I hit your car or I let's just say I'm driving down the road and I hit I run into my sister she's driving down the road boom I hit her by accident oops I'm sorry she's hurt she goes to the doctor she says oh it's a broken arm I broke my arm I just bumped it hard that's bodily injury. If you don't carry that, you could make or break it depending on the area that you live in. Uninsured motors, what that does, let's say I hit my sister again. Boom. Crash. Broken arm. Okay? Not an insurance. Crap. Boom. Sorry, sis. <laughs> I'm gone. No, let's, let's, let's say I'm nice. Okay? I come out, it's like, sorry, sister, I hit you. Oh, crap. My car expired. I haven't had insurance for two months. I didn't know. I, you know, it just didn't happen. I never got the letter from the state. The communication wasn't there. I never just as high as you can with, with meeting your means of income. Keep in mind, like we said, the insurance rates in Florida are going to be higher than normal. So these are just your basic coverages. There's a lot more stuff that you can carry. Let's go into the PIP a little bit. Personal injury protection. What PIP is, it covers 80% of your medical up to $10,000. However, if you're... Uh, someone that doesn't have a lot of medical and you want more than that most companies will no insurance uninsured motorist or they have less insurance than you okay they're carrying the state minimums but you want to make sure you're protected just in case something like that happens so you want to have underinsured motorist that's gonna pay you the difference between what you're carrying and what the other person is carrying as well for example, underinsured motors. We'll go into that. I hit sister. That's the way it is. A lot of people in Florida are noticing their rates are really high. Or if you're new, you don't realize that the rates are high because you haven't ever seen the other rates. Florida is ranked in the top 10 for the highest insurance rates in the nation. If I'm not mistaken, by the time I'm doing this video, it's in the top five. And there's a few reasons that it is. You can partially thank Miami, because Miami, Florida is one of the highest risks. They have very high-end cars, they have a lot of traffic, they also have a lot of theft. That is causing the rates to go up. Recommended, if you can't afford it and you got finances real tight, always, always, always start at least $25,000 per person, $50,000 per accident. You would be so shocked how little of a difference the price makes between the twenty-five dollars and the fifty. dollars okay? And then most commonly, the insurance guy's gonna have this half typed up by the time you say it, because 
the second you say 2550, it pops in his head 25,000 property damage. Sure, you can go down to 10,000, but that's so inexpensive to change. Now you're in a legal battle, it's kind of annoying. Always carry bodily injury. Always, always, always carry bodily injury, just to be safe. If you're in the situation where you can't carry it at all, you don't have the funds, it's just not there. It's called uh, basic insurance, or um, I believe it's called it's standard and basic is what they offer. So the basic insurance for Florida is no bodily injury, you have to have property damage, you have to have PIP. Uh, property damage is going to cover 10000 or more if you choose to do If you don't know me, I've been in insurance the uh, last uh, five and a half, six years. I am licensed in 30 some odd states. I don't know exactly how many anymore. I um, lost track. I'll look it up for one of our videos here. I'm really knowledgeable insurance. I sell insurance in Florida, Michigan, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland. I mean, just y you name it. I know most of the guidelines. It's a lot to remember up here, but a lot of them are very similar. However, Florida is a lot different. I want to go over a little bit of the history of why Florida is 